It's about a father that has a son that's disabled. And I will read to you just a portion now to give you the whole picture. But this young man had a dream as a disabled person, and that was that he would be able to complete a triathlon, which was absolutely not possible in his condition. But his father took up the challenge and actually took him to complete a triathlon where the father basically did everything. And it's an amazing video, but I'd like to read the, the, the script that goes with it. And uh, the video is not the best quality, but you'll get the message, and I trust that you will enjoy it with me. So just give your attention. I'm going to read just this page or two, and it goes like this. I was watching the 1990 Ironman Triathlon held in Kona, Hawaii. It was one of the most grueling tests of endurance in the world. Each contestant's contestant swims two and a half miles, that's about four kilometers. Some of us can't walk four kilometers, they only swim. Through the ocean also, not in a pool. Then bikes 125 miles, that's 200 kilometers. Through hot lava fields and concludes by running a 26.2 mile marathon, that's 41 kilometers. Anybody ready for uh, that kind of challenge? I mean, I won't make it all by myself. There were lots of contenders in this race and eyes were upon those who were thought to be the ones who might win. But focus came on a father by the name of Dick Hoyt, who pulled, pushed, and carried his totally disabled son, Ricky, through the entire course. His son had contracted cerebral palsy in infancy when his umbilical cord was wrapped around his neck prior to birth. In an interview, his athletic father told how he was despondent to the point of rejecting his son. But as he began meeting his son's every basic need, including bathing, feeding, and carrying him everywhere, even changing diapers, he developed a deep love for his son. His son had shown a great mental capability and through tapping on a computer had advanced to his second year at Boston University. However, he was still almost completely paralyzed physically. Then one day the son saw an Ironman triathlon and told his father he wanted to run in one someday, which you know is utterly impossible. Physically, that was not possible. But that father decided to begin training his son through the course. He built a raft to pull him through the 2.5 miles of swimming. He built a special bicycle to carry his son in front of him for the 125 mile ride on the bicycle. Then he constructed a special stroller to push him the 26.2 miles in the marathon. They trained together over the months and the father became the most incredible, in the, became the most incredible conditioned 48 year old man that the writer had ever seen. My family and I were drawn to the scene on TV. We wept as we watched the father pick up the limp body of his son after pulling him through two and a half miles, four kilometers of water in a raft. Then he carried him to a special bike and pedaled the 200 kilometers in the hot sun, giving him food and water along the way. The father's total dedication was on his son's needs and desire to complete the race, despite his total inability to do it himself. Next, the father carried him to the stroller and pushed him 41 kilometers of running and finished just under the deadline for closing the course to a great crowd of cheering witnesses. It was one of the most moving, inspirational things I have ever seen. The father was interviewed afterwards and a reporter speculated how well he could have done if he had not had to carry the extra 126 pounds of his son and equipment. Maybe he could have even been among the leaders. The father looked at the interviewer incredulously, incredulously and said, I would never have run the race without my son. He was my inspiration for trying. And we've been through it together all during the training. He did it for his son, not for his own glory. But to all who saw it, the father got the glory in the son's weakness. There was one incredible scene at the end of the, as the announcer proclaimed that the son had, had finished the race. Yet the son had not swum a stroke, pedaled one time, or taken one step. The father 
had done it all, but the son had run the race. This was the incredible paradox. I didn't realize the parable God had spoken to me until later that evening when I was sitting alone thinking about that scene and my heavenly father began to show me his heart towards us as his sons and daughters in the race of life. Like that father, he loves us and he did it for us. Sure. What marvelous love the father has extended to us. Just look at it. We are called the children of God, and that's who we really are. Like that Father, He's glorified in our weakness and gets stronger and stronger the more we admit our need and glory in our own weaknesses. Like that Father, He builds a special place for us to run the race of this life with all that we need to finish. He prepared a place for us, and the place is in Him. Like that Father, His attention and eyes are on us, and His thoughts towards us are as many as the grains of sand in the world. Like that son, we have a race before us that's impossible to run. It was Jesus who said, without me, you can do nothing. He knows we are helpless. Like that son, if we decide we'll take over for a while, we won't get one step on, on our own. We can finish the race if we let him put us in his boat and rest in his labor. Like that son, we are only complete when we are with him. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. In the end, men will say that we ran the race and finished. But it was Father doing it every step of the way. In the end, they'll say we ran the race, but Father will get the glory in our weakness. That Father's focus was on his son, but the crowd marveled at the love strength and faithfulness of the father what our father has done for us and has prepared for us is beyond all thought and human comprehension before we turn our attention to earthly human fathers i would like to use this video to help you and give you more reason to honor our heavenly father than what we've ever done before i trust that you will be able to do that as you see this video and realize how much God as our Father cares for us and how much He's done for us through Jesus Christ. So enjoy the video and uh, we'll take it from there. And who told the ocean? 